Alrighty, here we go. We are going out of town tomorrow, uh, Friday, and we will be back Tuesday night. And so none of these guys are gonna get fed between now and then, I'm gonna feed them today. And I'm gonna feed them the stuff, uh, my neighbor volunteered, his son. So he's helped before, he's fed the fish before. So I'm gonna give him a little, little short video on uh, what to do. And this is how it's gonna go. I'm leaving this. So Spencer, uh, Terry, this is for you guys. Here's the, uh, the tub of uh, the algae wafers, and they are, um, um, it doesn't really matter for this video, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. They're from Aquatic Foods. I like their algae wafers. Um, and what I do is if I'm just feeding a couple, I'll just reach in and take them out. But what I'm gonna suggest is pour a bunch in the lid. That way, if any of them get wet, you can just leave them out, they'll dry and not put them back in that and they'll rot or mold, whatever. So I've got a post-it on all the tanks and I'll show you how I did do it. So I grab, there's five algae wafers and there's a bunch of stuff on top. There's a bunch of uh, jungle valisneria and uh, uh, dwarf water lettuce. So I put it right up front and just drop them in. They just dropped in. I wish I would have had the camera pointing at that. And I feed them right in the center like that on this tank. All right, the next tank over, and a lot of it has to do with all the surface plants. Uh, same thing. Okay, this is the next tank over. We're on the counter in the garage, right? Um, and same thing. Just hold them up against the glass, let them drop, because they'll get stuck in the guppy grass. And if you want to knock them down, oh, she's having a fit. I'll leave these uh, tweezers, wherever they are, in, in the, hello, there they go. And, uh, you can just poke it in and knock it down that way. All right. Now these guys get the decapsulated brine shrimp eggs that are in the, in the fridge. So there's just fry in here, small fish, baby fish and shrimp. So in the fridge, there is this jar of decapsulated brine shrimp eggs in this little brush and stick it in there and just tap it on the surface. Uh, you can do that three or four times. Uh, and if you do that every day, that'd be cool. Just knock it off. And if you get to it just the once, uh, that's fine too. They'll be fine. Okay, now the decapsulated brine shrimp eggs float for a while, then they'll eventually sink once they hydrate. And then down below these tubs, um, I think one uh, wafers fine, just right in the corner there and just past the corner there. They'll find their way down. In fact, this one, I could probably, I'll update the post it, make it two wafers, a lot of guppies in there and the betta and a lot of shrimp in both of these. And in this one, underneath the counter here, this tank, what I do is I drop them towards this end of the tank. And just cause there's some open space down there for them to collect instead of on all that stuff. So on this side, there's bettas and there's quarries in here, the little catfish. And I'll drop four in there. Uh, and if you accidentally drop five, no problem. Because these guys just pig it out. They just, the bettas love them and the little catfish love them. And there's a couple of mono shrimp in here that also and then just, there's just little guppies in here, just one. And then this next tank uh, over here, four is usually pretty good. And just somewhere in the front, and I'd watch your fingers because they'll get them. These guys are nuts. And one falls in the rocks and somehow or another they sort it out. The rest are down below. And then, and so I just set the tray up here. Uh, you can keep it on the counter behind you, whatever you want to do. All right, and down the end, these little shrimp that are in this bucket are gonna go in this tank. So I'll, I'll drop one in there. I've already got one in there in, an, in the net that I'm trying to fish out what's left of the little red shrimp in here, so I'm not gonna drop one in there, but you get it. And then this tank, right up front, if you can, a couple. And it's mostly uh, shrimp, and there's some guppies in there, they'll get it. And then, uh, I've got four wafers in this tank because there's fish in there that go nuts for them as well as shrimp. 
Okay, and they sink to the bottom. And then, um, let's see, in this tank, just a couple in the front. And again, if any of them get stuck in the, in the weeds, uh, they'll eventually work their way down. But if you feel like it, you can knock them free with the, the, those tweezers, otherwise it's not a big deal. And this tank, a couple in this corner. And they won't last, they're shrimp in that tank as well. Then around the corner here, the big tank, I'm just gonna set the, the wafers up on the shelf there. And uh, what do I have? I've got five in my hand. If you dropped five in there, it wouldn't hurt. There's a bunch of catfish in this tank, as well as the two angelfish. Uh, they'll get used up. Four is good, five won't hurt. Uh, these little guppies over here, just one. And I'm just grabbing a handful here because uh, the tight squeeze. So this tank here, first one down the line, uh, two wafers just right in the center. And then all these guppies. What I'll do often is drop two at one end and one at the other end uh, because there's catfish in this tank. And it makes it a little easier for the catfish to get some because the guppies are pigs. There's one of the little catfish under the rock right there. So, and then into the house. And then the kitchen tank, just a couple wafers right front and center. And then the living room tank right here. And the lights will probably be off. They don't come on automatically. Oh, you know what, I gotta fix that. Um, I've got a light that will. And just one, one in the corner over there. Okay, let's try this again. And this is the last tank in the casita and I just lift the lid up by the handle and set it on top of the light. And, uh, you know, I don't think I've ever fed these guys. These are similar to the ones, well, the same as the ones outside in the garage, but I'll drop one in this corner. Uh, there's shrimp in this tank too. Uh, and little quarries, little catfish. So I might just drop a couple in there. I think it's foreign to them. They'll figure it out. Once somebody gets the message, they'll figure it out. So I'm gonna change that to two. And this is what I'm talking about, how they all go nuts for these things. So anyway, I appreciate you guys feeding the fish for me while we're gone. Uh, and if you don't get to it, it's not a real big deal because fish can go a week without being fed. So no fret, no worries, but I appreciate it. And these are the few I had left in the um, in the lid. So I'll just pour those back and put the lid back on and you can leave it right there. All right. So again, thank you all very much. Um, and for the YouTube crowd, I'm just going to post this. I was going to put this up private, send them the link. But I thought, you know, I'll show you guys how I, uh, a possible way to deal with uh you know, uh, vacationing away from your, your fish room. And uh, we're lucky we have really great neighbors that, that take care of our cat and they're willing to do this for us too. So anyway, uh, everybody, thanks for looking.